We are going to today observe something else for our terrarium. Wow, a real live cricket. I'm going to give you a quick overview of Petco.com. I'm going to get you into your groups and you're going to start researching. This is definitely <laughs> You guys are going to use these to make your own little hydrometers. Uh, 6%. So this worm is going today is gonna go in that compost pile, okay? Yay, compost! Okay. I think learning through projects helps kids become deep critical thinkers that they don't just accept the information that's given to them, they question it. Project-based learning helps students learn to be better problem solvers. Project-based learning really builds a culture in a classroom of kids seeing themselves as investigators, kids seeing themselves as being more in charge of their own learning. What if my box is exactly 12 by 12 and it's not going to like... Then it'll, it'll fit exactly inside of mine. Okay. mine. Just helps me to be able to have a visual aid and hands-on and be able to, I don't know, work by my, with my hands and see everything. We're trying to design a, um, a tool to help you get batteries out of like remotes and all that. It broke because it was too thin and when we were trying to get the battery out so we're remaking it. We're using Tinkercad and it, you just use um, shapes um, and to build like 3D models. I think project-based learning is a really powerful tool for differentiation um, because it's open-ended. There's never just a, I got there and I got it and I'm done. We weren't getting adequate data, so these, you can see down here, it was marked. You can always take projects further. I feel like I can hit my whole spectrum of learners um, by using these projects. So then we should go over to that side and do yeah. samples. That works. Walking yeah. in there. When I think about authenticity and what it means to me is that students are, are working on um, real-world projects that uh, they can actually contribute new information or real data to. And so I think that that actually can be very, very empowering um, to all of us. You know, we have a really small concentration in our tap water, and it's actually uh, it's a lot lower than the EPA's legal limit, okay. so that's good. That's good yeah. uh, once you take that healthy risk as a teacher and kind of set your students free on an open-ended project, put more of the learning in their hands, you'll get addicted to it. I'm going to expect you to be able to mathematically explain why your device works. It really shifts to this growth mindset of not, oh, I know the answer, I know it, I'm ready to be done and move on with my educational life. There's always somewhere deeper I can push my learning. That was 69 seconds. What? Wait, I had that wrong. 60. There's supposed to be 60 there to make one minute. We want citizens that are educated enough to be critical and to think through concepts themselves so that they know whether they really make sense or not. And that that's what you want all the time for your students.